Morning, Josh. It was um, pretty comprehensive victory for, for, for Dons in the week, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. It was um, a nice, comfortable performance. Um, I didn't think we was probably at our best. I thought we played well, but I definitely think we could play better. But no, it was really comfortable. I think they didn't have any real clear-cut opportunities. I know Louis made one um, unbelievable block, but apart from that, I can't really remember anything. So no, it was a good... Obviously, got the clean sheet again, um, like we did against Portsmouth on Saturday. So it's been it's been two good performances. Come against uh, relegation strugglers. Does it does that offer a, a different kind of threat to, um, to 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 playing teams that you have done recently up, up in the playoff spots? Well, yeah, I don't think you can think of them like that. Really, I think every game in League One is is tough. Whether you're playing Portsmouth or you're playing Bristol Rovers, like everyone's got their strength and weaknesses. But uh, we're just concentrating on ourselves at the moment. Really, we're just playing as well as we can play. I know. We're probably, everyone's thinking like we're mid-table, we've not got much to play for, but we're all playing for our places. Um, we're all unsure about our futures next season, what we're doing and stuff. And Russ is um, obviously um, deciding what we're going to do. So yeah, we've still got a lot to play for and we're all still um, giving it 110% every game. So, like, you're reading my list of questions here, but um, Sorry, what what is it that, that your future holds? I mean, we know that you've uh, you, you've come in on a short term deal. Do you see your future at MK Dons, or is it still, you know, something that you you guys need to sit down and have a chat about? No, I've had this I've had this chat a few times, and um, yeah, we obviously we will have a chat. But I'm just taking it game by game. Um, Russ knows that my situation. Um, I'm absolutely loving my time here. Um, at the moment, playing games, playing the way we're playing, it's perfect for me. But yeah, like I said, I'm just taking it game by game at the moment um, and we'll see what happens in the summer. How have you found adapting to League One? You know, we're often told it's a little bit more physical as you as you drop down the leagues. And you know, I think Ethan Laird said that he was really shocked at just a, how, how much of a physical game it was compared to, to under-23s football that, that he was playing. But how is it that you've, you've found it and slotted it? Um... Well, I've yeah, I've played championship football probably obviously most of my career, but I don't think it's a massive um massive difference. I think uh the way we I played at Brentford and the way we play here is not a massive difference. We're both pos- a possession based teams, so it's not been um not been that too dissimilar really. As I said, I'm enjoying it and we're having like sixty, seventy percent possession every single game, so we're trying to make it not as physical as we can really and try and make it about the football side of it so no I'm not really noticed a massive difference it certainly sounds like you guys are having fun though I mean the the atmosphere around the the dressing room after the game was certainly really buoyant on Tuesday night and it feels like at at this stage of the season you guys are all really still still really enjoying it definitely not looking forward to the end of the season no, definitely. We've still got three, three big games and um, we've set ourselves a target so, and we still want to reach that. And we've started um, the Portsmouth game and the game on Tuesday night. Um, we're well on well on way for that. But I think more of the reaction was um, the comments before because I heard like we wasn't playing with any purpose. Um, we're just a possession base. We don't really create any chances or anything like that. And I think that obviously hurt a lot of, a lot of the players. So, yeah, we put... Um, we did put a good performance on on Tuesday night, and hopefully we can take that in some uh, tomorrow. Another team scrapping um, at the bottom in in Swindon Town coming up tomorrow. Then and I suppose it's just a case of having to approach it just as as you have done in the last few games. And you know, first off, keeping another clean sheet, which has been massive over the last six games or so, and then you know, doing what you guys do when you go forward. Yeah, no, exactly what you said. Um, Swindon got a massive result on Tuesday night beating Portsmouth, so they're going to come not full of confidence, but obviously on the back of a good um, good result. And I think they'll probably, they will probably do need to win to not have any chance, but have to have a good chance. So I, I know it's going to be a really tough game tomorrow, but we're just going to concentrate on ourselves, and if we put in a good performance, we'll have um, a good chance of winning.